Every inmate death is a coroner's case. Inmates aren't treated any differently. They're humans and they have families just like anyone else. I came to work for the Marin Coroner's Office May 6th of 1975. We have to examine each and every organ to know everything that happened or didn't happen, inmate or not. We do the autopsies here, we bring our own instruments. The, the incision is made from the shoulders to the center of the breastbone and from there to the pubic bone. We open up the head in the back behind the ears and we re remove the brain and examine the brain. This isn't just a coroner facility, this is a mortuary. And so they embalm people here and they dress them and make them up and do the hair. You know, they got their tunes going. These are embalming instruments, you know. Larger people, larger tube. You know, we have uh, about two and a half gallons of blood in our bodies. So two and a half gallons of water mixed with formaldehyde is put into the body. You go in through an artery either in the neck or in the arm or in the groin. The fluid goes in through the artery and when you stop getting blood coming out, theoretically you have replaced the blood with formaldehyde, which offers preservation, not for eternity, but long enough for a funeral. In truth, it lasts over 100 years. These are people probably waiting for cremations. The person in the white there is probably going to be transferred to another mortuary. There's a crematorium, and there's a finished cremation right there. This is just finished. You can feel the heat. There is a small window in the center of that door so that they can actually see the progression, you know, because it takes a couple hours. And the larger the person, the longer it takes. And all of this will be uh, flattened so that it's not recognizable as arm or finger or toes or whatever. This is the top of the skull. That's the hip, the part that's sticking up. That large ball configuration, that's a hip bone. The work we do is very interesting. It's challenging every single day. I have just as hard a time with death in my family as you would in yours. This business has not built any armor for me against loss. The prison system, the CDCR, aren't as communicative as families would like. My role is different than theirs, and when families come to me, there is nothing that I don't tell them. Dealing with a family is crushing because they come to us for all the answers and we don't have very many.